Okay. Here we go! In other news, Akira Kanoe, founder of Medis, announced a joint project with one-time rival company, Pineapple. Pineapple? Tech heads are fired up with pen, pineapple pen? at the news, awaiting further details. With oh! Okay, folks, listen up! Good evening. Been a while, huh? Dang it. <laughs> we are the Phantom Thieves. And we're back in action with a new heart in our sights. A wicked witch who treats people like toys. Alice Hiragi, you pretend you're a red I don't girl, care. All you do is hurt people to indulge your own darkness. Oh, is that bad person, And bad people have to be stopped. And all those desires you stole. Tonight, we're taking them all back. It's about time I started talking! Okay, next I'm scheduled at... Hey, Alice! You should check the TV! Oh, it's the manager. Hello? Oh, this is bad, Miss Alice. Look at the email I forwarded you. What in the Phantom Thieves? Uh huh. Taking my desire? All the desires I collected? Yeah, they're not yours. No, you can't. I need those. That's what makes me the monarch. I need those to. Without those, I'll. All right. I'll wait for you. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. I'll smash you for certain this time. This is gonna be my first time beating up a VTuber. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the return of the Futaba cannon. Hope it was a blast. Shiba is in Phantom Thieves frenzy all over again. I'm sure Alice got her calling card by now, too. Come on, come on! So, all that's left is to wrap this up. Let's head in and finish the job we started. Time for the heist. Let's do this. Let's go. Right. Tonight, we take back the stolen desires. Let's fucking go! Does it play the music? Yes! Sorry, I'm so happy! Sorry, I'm just. Is it? Is game? Yes! Let's go! Let's fucking go! I, I I just realized I, I forgot to change my other party member. Sorry, Haru. Bring in Sophia. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, we just need to make our way over there. Here we go. Just tear them all up! Don't even have to worry about SP count because I'm just gonna get recovered. Alright, keep moving. Okay, I just realized I missed an item. Don't care! Wait, am I gonna climb the chain? Nice. Focus. No, not that way. Um, I I hit the circle button. All right. Whoa, that is. Ooh, that 
That's a big jewel. That's freaking huge! Holy fuck! At least it actually materialized for us. Thank goodness. Yeah! Oh, that is a relief. I was worried our standard palace procedures wouldn't work. Um, how are we gonna carry that? Alright, Skull. Get to home. Wait, why Skull? Uh, no. Look at the size of that thing. That's freaking huge! Anybody know how to ride a helicopter? I admit, I don't know either. What's that? That is a pole. Oh. It's her. Hi. Alice. I'm here to kick your butt. So, it's a fight after all. Oh dear. You thought you Sneak in like that. Well, I wouldn't say sneak in. I, I have no I have nothing witty to retort with. And what exactly do you plan on doing with those desires? Um giving them back to the people you stole them from? Pretty obvious. Hey you! Joker, right? Can you come back to me so you could be mine? No thanks, I'm already taken. We're here for your desire. Hell, hell no! We're changing your heart. Hmm. I mean, we're both technically doing the exact same thing. But you want to know what? I'm going to be a snarky little asshole. Hell no! Sorry, is that a talking cat? You seized people's desires by force and turned them into your puppets. You toyed with people's emotions and made them mistreat one another. You even opened up stores so you could build all the people you brainwashed. We can no longer overlook the wicked changes of heart you forced on the people. The phantom thieves are about to beat the distortion out of you. The Kamaki song. You're so beautiful. Wait, what? There's no way you could understand. You have no clue what I've been through. You mean what happened to you at Shujin? Oh. Yeah, we kind of learned that. Where did... How? We know all of it. Yeah. We realize that you were a victim. But goddamn, that does not give you an excuse to do what you're doing! How you were bullied? How it was torture for you? If you were tortured by monsters, why would you yourself become a monster and make more of you? But I still... Oh, okay. You found out. No matter how much I hide it, the past still comes back to me. So you did become drunk with power. Everything I've always wanted. Mine! <sighs> well... And now, I'm gonna make you mine. Oh, mine! Uh... Oh! Okay. Um... What? What? Huh? Huh? I... I have so many... Also the music! So this really is Alice in Wonderland. No shit! Is it gonna play? This is. Come along, come along. I have such wonders to show you. 
I have some. I, this is not what I expected. What wonders? Ignore her, Sophie. She just wants to torture us. Wait. Ooh! I'm gonna make you see the light. Oh, you see you have to take it. I can spin on the pole, apparently. Gotcha, bitch! Are you weak? Oh! You're a boss that has weak weaknesses? Burn! Very good. Oh! I was not expecting to fight. There, there are many things I was expecting to fight. This is not one of them. Tarunda. Give me a second. I'm jamming my fucking head. Let's go. Fucking hell. I was okay. This is like whiplash. Okay. Pun intended, by the way, considering I'm playing as on right now, just for the record. I was not expecting a legitimate transformation of her turning into a monster rabbit. Um, it fits. I, but the music, holy shit, I need to look up this goddamn song. I broke him. Okay. Raining confetti upon the stage. That would be quite pleasing. Aesthetic. It's tough, but it's weak to wire. You can handle this. Gotcha, bitch. Go for it, I guess I'm just gonna spin because I can! Burn! I'm a spin because it makes you hurt! Feast your eyes! Uh oh, I need to get out of here. Uh. Whoa! Yeah. Tarunda. None of your Marin Karen bullshit. Fuck you. Oh boy. Yeah. What are you doing, woman? Persona! Jack-o-lantern! Rabbit step! 
Okay, I need to move. Nice try. Don't worry, we're fine, we're fine. There are so many things that are going on right now, but Jesus, this is awesome! All on attack! Go! Boom! Happiness at the sacrifice of others! You're not going to be happy with that life. It'll be short-lived, and it won't be good. Uh, back up. Brain Jack. No, you don't. Uh. Not a bad combination using Brain Jack in that. Oh my god, this remix of the Blooming Villain theme is so goddamn good. <sighs> Thanks for the HP SP recovery. Fine, I can dodge it. As long as I go in circles, she can't hit me. See? Wait, media. Burn! Just keep burning her! It'll tear down her shields. Yes! On your turn! Again, huh? Being exceptionally stupid. Snap out of it, Alice! got frozen.
Not as maps I was bullshit. Go! Woo! Woo! No, you don't. Uh oh, move, move, move! <gasps> okay, I love this boss fight. It is actually fucking crazy! Oh my god, that was awesome. Okay, Okay. apparently Succubus le leveled up. Ooh, a new skill. Oh, that would have come in handy in that fight. Even though I don't think any of us ever got brainwashed. Okay. Yay! Joker learned a new skill. Woo! No! How can I still not be strong enough? Because you're the first villain. Why can't I change? <laughs> I'm not the victim anymore. No, you're not the victim anymore. But you are making more victims with your actions. Why don't you see that? Enough, Alice. If you keep going. You'll just make yourself feel even worse. How would you know? You have no idea the things that An has been through. You've both suffered. that was holding onto the key. She told everyone what a pathetic little shit I was. <sighs> That's why I took all of it from her. Her boyfriend, her social circle, everything. Did that really make you feel better? Revenge won't bring you happiness in this regard. It might be short-lived, but once it's done and over with, you'll just feel hollow on the inside. And I think you understand that. And that's why you kept doing it. But that's still no excuse for what you've done. So this is a wound in a heart. 
There are just some things that you can't do. But I can understand it. I don't agree with it, but it's something I can understand. You became the bully, right? Exactly. You idiot! What good does that do? Now you're just as bad as the people who made you suffer. Precisely. Is that how you want to live? Like one of those bullies? Do you want to be proud of the reflection that you look at in the mirror every fucking morning? Didn't you want to be something else? A ray of light for others. And for yourself. <sighs> Don't give up because of those selfish bastards! Uh, Takamaki-san! You're right. I wanted to rescue them. All the people like me, going through the same thing. You succumb to that temptation. When power was offered to you, you took hold of it. It's not too late to change. You have a lot to answer for, and there's probably going to be some people that won't forgive you for what you've done. But that won't erase the fact that you can still take the first step forward to atone for what you've done and change. It's not too late. You think so? Takamaki-san, I... I want to apologize to the people I hurt and start over. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you can turn it around. I've been through a lot of the same things. But thanks to my best friend and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand up for myself and do the right thing. You're never alone. Once you're back to your real self, let's be friends, okay? Yeah. I realize the road to her own redemption is probably going to take a very long time, but at least having somebody there to help her along the way would probably... would probably do her a lot of good. You wanna be... really? Uh-huh. Share the same dream. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Sophie just kind of absorbing this. Hmm. We'll go back now. Where I belong. This time, I'm gonna be. This is interesting. Hmm. Oh, uh... Oh, this is bad! It's coming down! Um, I'll leave my thoughts afterwards, but we should probably get out of here. Oh! Oh! There's all the desires. <sighs> Going back to all the people that she stole from.
You know what? That <laughs> little Sophie. I kind of liked how that turned out. That was effing amazing. Cage of lust closed. Yeah. That went really well. Did we just witness the desires returning to their rightful owners? It looks like it. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Everyone who got a desire disappeared afterward. Strangely, the castle's still there from the looks of it, I think. I hope that means their real-life counterparts are returning to normal. Hmm. Only one way to find out. Yes, you're right. Wait, what the? What? What is it, Monachan? Something's wrong. It's not collapsing. Yeah, it's still there. But the giant desire blew up. Like. <sighs> well, again, we didn't steal. Well, mm. No, just look around. Now that you mention it, it still looks the same. Whenever we stole a treasure, we'd have to leave the metaverse entirely, right? Yet somehow we're still here. Yeah, we always had to haul ass out of there. That is most assuredly not happening now. If anything, it's grown eerily quiet. Yeah. So if the monarch is toppled and the desires are all returned, the jail still doesn't collapse? Hmm. It would appear that palaces are different from this jail after all. What if, hmm, what if the jail exists initially and then a particularly powerful shadow takes over said jail and morphs it to their liking? There's a chance we haven't actually resolved the issue yet. Or that. I wonder how Alice will react to this. Yeah. Could we find out when we get back to the real world? Yeah, let's head there now. It'd be nice if she could recall what happened here, but... No one shares memories with their shadows. Oh god, you're right. Think she might talk to Panther? Hmm. Huh? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You two could really hit it off. She did say that she loves her. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. I mean... It was worth going that far for her to come to her senses. <laughs> Alice really is a one-of-a-kind talent. And her dream is definitely something worth fighting for. Hmm. I just hope she can remember how that dream first made her feel. So she can bring that feeling to the people who need it. Yeah. That's right. I'm sure she can start over. Well said, On. Well said. I don't know if there's anything I can do to help her, but I at least want to be there for her. You did promise that you would be her friend. Fascinating. Hmm? What's up, Sophie? Just as the Phantom Thieves predicted, Alice Hiragi appeared to change her logic. What? This would not be possible had we simply defeated her. How did you predict the outcome? Ironically, it's something that we're kind of used to. We didn't really predict it. Being able to change is what makes someone human. Yeah. Someone is human because they can change. Mm-hmm. The human heart is much more complicated than expected, isn't it? Yep. Just when you think you've grown beyond your pain, the smallest thing can bring you all the way back down again. The human heart is indeed difficult to comprehend. It's filled with mysteries. Mm-hmm. Well, you're pretty high up there on the mystery charts yourself, Sophie, my dear. No, I'm... Sophie, humanity's companion, right? We get it. I was about to say. You got it, Skull. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but, like, she has, like, this little, this level of innocence about her that kind of just makes her charming whenever she appears. Also, just that happy little bounce. I can feel a strong bond with my friends. 
Phantom Striker. Increases dam- I did not have a chance to read that. <laughs> well, what do you say we head back now? I'd like to check on the real world, Alice. Yeah, I didn't have a chance to read that, but cool. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get going. <sighs> yeah, we better check on Alice. Yay! Let's see if there's been any change. Uh, oh, I made my way back to LeBlanc. On a Saturday night. Hey. Hey, Sabata? Oh, hey, Sophie. Han was very angry with Shadow Alice earlier. By the end, though, she appeared happy. Why is that? Wasn't she angry at Alice? She was. But she could also sympathize with her. She finally shared her feelings. They understood each other. I think that's probably the best way to put it. Okay. Anger is not just for hurting people. It is also able to save people. If applied correctly, yes. It depends. It depends. I hope that can be true. Sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes you need a little bit more than just anger. Hmm. I think it depends. It depends. Consider, anger saved Alice. If someone is in the wrong, anger can be used to show them the error of their ways. Exactly. There, like I said, there was a proper way to use anger. The human heart is such a mystery. Oh, don't worry, give it some time. I'm pretty sure you'll get used to it. But thanks to you, I've gained valuable experience. Thank you. Eh, no problem, Sophie. I hope to learn more from you. Yeah, sure. Also, can you not watch me whenever I'm trying to sleep? Actually, I'm gonna save here. God, there's like a lot of dialogue that I missed during that fight because I was so panicky. <sighs> a certain TV studio filming location. And now for the hottest meet and greet. Oh boy. Okay. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Oh? Yes, I need to confess something. Oh my god! The incident that occurred with the previous hosts... That was... all my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. Ah! Uh, 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 huh! So the desires can act as a treasure. Well, Miss Alice, and they're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um. On national TV, too. Is this... is this a prank or something? Also realistic. All of my past managers tried so hard to stop me. But then I'd lash out at them, too, and... and I'd assault them until they backed down. Oh my god. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. <sighs> Wait, are you... is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied and I've... it hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this... the Phantom Thieves? Yeah. She recognized it. This is very much like a confession. Which, okay, it is... Uh, well, you guys know what I mean. Like, it... it yeah. I'm the one who did it 
all. No one but me did these horrible things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut! Cut! Right now! Enough to stand by! Okay, um... This is a very important moment, but can I just point out that voice actor right there just gave it his all for that one line? Oh, that was literally Alice. his only line. Damn. This is gonna blow way up. That news lady even name-checked the Phantom Thieves. Mm-hmm. Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Yeah. Good lord. Right. We may have gone through something quite different from a palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. Yeah. God, she has a lot to answer for. The people with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. And it's trending on Twitter. I'm just seeing a lot of, I want my money back. Well, I sure can't help him there. Uh, yep. This is, God, this is, oh boy, this is gonna be, oh damn, this is gonna be rough. Not sure everyone's actually a victim here. No, not every no. As I stated earlier, I am sure she had genuine fans. Ones whose desires that she didn't steal. And those people are just shitheads. For so I mean no 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 they're not shitheads. They're not shitheads. They're not shitheads. No, that's just that's just being unfair. That's being unfair to them, I know. Nevertheless, mission complete. Yeah. I wonder what'll happen to Alice next. Well, I imagine there's going to be an investigation into the manager that had an actual breakdown. And she's probably going to have to end up serving some sort of time, I would imagine. Wait a minute. Somebody that's more knowledgeable about how the law works. Do I do I have any law people in my com in my uh in my in my com in my community? Probably next to impossible for her to make it in the industry now. Her scandal is big news. Yeah. There's... There's probably not going to be any coming back from this. But, again, like I said, she can always take the steps to try to make things right. I mean, for God's sake, she didn't kill... Okay, she caused somebody to have a mental breakdown, but she didn't straight up kill anybody. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. And she's gonna have to answer those. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still be a ray of light for others, even if she has to find another way to shine. Yeah. That reminds me. We should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. It, he would not, it, yeah, yeah. It would probably be a good idea. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Well, we have On, and if need be, can't Makoto talk to her sister? Ah, jeez, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. An enlightening conversation as always in here. Ah, Zenkichi, hey. What's up? How's it hanging, folks? So, you saw what we did? Ah, you again, Gramps? He doesn't look that old. Hey, I won't deny I'm older than you guys, but that still stings, you know? Kind of? But more importantly, you guys really hop to work when your minds are set, don't you? I mean, they are the we are the Phantom Thieves. To what are you referring? Don't play stupid. I gave you solid intel, yeah? Yeah, you did. I'm not gonna deny that. These guys might deny it, but I'm not. Yes, but that's... Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. 
Ah, crap, of course. Your own what? What do you want? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as running some questions by Alice for you. Ye you can do that? You were just saying you wanted info from her, right? That's accurate. But Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Well, these guys don't know about it, but that opening cutscene at the very beginning of the game with that meeting with that, um... <clears throat> that particular woman um apparently there's a lot of other people doing wacky and crazy shit right now and they're trying to say we're the ones causing it oh it is far from closed this change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country and we know they can't all be alice's victims therefore you still have plenty to get pinned on you don't you the funny thing is, by the way that you're acting, you I have a feeling you know we're not the ones doing this. Not only that, you already know how badly you've stirred the pot. That little calling card stunts fired up the public more than ever. Is that why you were smiling earlier? These change of heart cases have to be the phantom thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. I figured as much. Do you really not realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? What bullshit? What the hell did we do? We started targeting the uh, big bad guys, and the big bad guys in government did not like that. So... Calm down. Why do you think I offered you that deal? Because you know we didn't do it. If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. The reason I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. As I've been saying, because I'll pay attention to what you're saying. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. What makes you think that? Uh, detective's intuition, maybe? I mean, I'm pub set, but that's close enough. I like your voice actor. I, I don't know what it is. I just really like the voice actor for Zenkichi. Who voiced him? The M.O. in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves' ideology. The motives also appear very different. He sounds like he's actually having fun playing as him. These are two separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. <sighs> May we have a moment to ourselves? We'd like to discuss it first. Sure, I'll be right outside. Just holler when you're ready for me. Okay, then. Now, this is unexpected. I assumed Alice's confession would clear our names. But now we have knowledge that this is happening all around the country. Thus making it a bigger deal. Damn it. So they really weren't just trolling. What is it? What? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there. Similar to what we've seen so far. Oh. Almost none of them made the news, and it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it. Gramps is sane. It's probably not bullshit after all. Yeah. Are we just gonna keep calling him Gramps? What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. Exactly. Do you think there could be more monarchs out there too? Absolutely. And what would we do? Considering what we've gathered, going along with that man could be a viable option. Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? What other choice do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. Exactly. What do you say? I can't trust him. Not much of a choice here. Let's make the deal. Let's do it. I think that'd be wisest. Wait, even if we do level with him, how would we explain it? Oh, easy. We just drag him to the metaverse. If he's going to understand what we've been doing, 
You'll have to learn about the metaverse. That's what I've been saying. Let's just drag him in so he can see what we're what we're doing. You think he'll even believe us? We have no choice but to make him believe. Otherwise, it's our leader on the line. Yeah, I don't want to go back in jail. Um, I would prefer not to be um injected with truth serum. Although I do have ties to the yakuza. I'm pretty sure the people in lockup will keep me nice and protected. Ain't that right, big bro EY? But, but the metaverse, the jail, how do you think we're gonna get some thick-headed cop to buy that? We drag him in. <sighs> it seems our only choice is to take him to the jail. Exactly! Wait, really? Yeah! Mako-chan. I am glad that Makoto is the one who's bringing this up. Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have to take him in so he can understand how we do things. We have one playable card in our hand. We just have to go along with it for the time being. It'll be dangerous in the jail, but we should be able to protect one man. I'm s well, look at us. We're eight people. We can protect one guy. There doesn't seem to be another option. Maybe in our best interest to accept the deal. Actually, nine if you also count Futaba in battle. All right, we'll do it. It's not like we have any alternative. Oh God, that's gonna be great whenever he's like, wait, why are you bringing this cat with us? Isn't that gonna be dangerous? Let's hope it's not our undoing. Ah, shit. We gotta stay prepared for the worst case. Yeah. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? We're gonna bring you in on the job. There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. Wait, are we doing it right now? Wait, for real? I see. A jail full of shadows. Did... Did we just tell him this on the way here? I... Um... Okay. I know a lot of the stuff that we said probably sounds crazy, but I assure you, we are clean. With a monarch seizing desires, was it? Alright. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? <laughs> I was kidding him. <laughs> he actually thinks we're on drugs. If you're going to cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time. Oh my god. Okay, fuck it. Yeah, okay, fuck it. Start up the app. We're taking you to the metaverse. Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Is that what the is that what the kids call the good stuff nowadays? Cognitive world? Yeah. Here we go. Follow us. Huh? Where to exactly? You're about to find out, and we're dragging him. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. So, welcome to the metaverse. So, are you gonna answer me? Oh. What? What? Welcome to the metaverse, Zenkichi. Okay, so when are we gonna bring Sojiro here? Can we bring Sai? Can, can, can we just bring more people in here, please? Who, wait, can we get Sojiro with a persona? This isn't real. <laughs> this isn't real. <laughs> Everything here is real. Every last bit you can see. Oh, by the way, what do you think of our outfits? Whoa, what happened? What are those outfits for? Um, yes. Yep, just about what I expected. <laughs> this is our Phantom Thief attire. Ta-da! <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? <laughs> uh, I love it. Questions. This is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. Who the fuck is a small child? Oh, this is a little girl that lived in my phone. Why are you looking at me like that? 
Wait, who are you? <laughs> Never mind, I'm not doing the joke again. I am Sophie, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. What? <laughs> Chill out, Zenkichi. You gotta keep yourself together. Oh, thank you, talking cat. Oh! Yeah, yeah, right. I can't be losing my shit like Monster Cat. <laughs> I am not a monster cat. I am Morgana. This is amazing. <laughs> you finally believe we've been telling you the truth? I believe I want drugs. The hell? How much did I drink last night? This just had to be a dream. I'm still passed out. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna take him a while. You holding up there, Gramps? No need to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, that still sounds rather worrisome. Yeah! <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. A little bit, yeah. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. Okay, let's go back, Zenkichi. So, how did you like your drug trip? It was pretty wild, wasn't it? How did this... What's happened to me? We took you to the metaverse, my good sir. Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? He is trying so desperately to rationalize what the fuck he just witnessed. <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. <laughs> I, 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 I am Ryuji. I am Ryuji. Mm, his brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Hey, by the way, the cat in my... Now that you actually heard my cat, he can, you can actually hear him talk to you now. Oh, why'd we even bother explaining it all beforehand? We all reacted similarly during our first time. Oh, such innocence. Although his reaction is the best so far, I am, I am tickled to death at his reaction. Get a hold of yourself, Gramps. Oh God! Now you're calling him Gramps. Sheesh! How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zenkichi. Is that cat talking to me? Huh? Oh, right, right. Get it together. This cat said my name. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm going to fucking die because this is getting me so giddy and laughing. Wait, wait, that monster cat in that place? It's the monster cat! <laughs> I'm not a monster. You're a cat. I told you I am Morgana. <laughs> Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now too. Yep. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it. <laughs> That's really something. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. All right, so that was day one. Day two, we're going to take it to the metaverse again. Um, Day three, profit? First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. No, it's it's completely understandable. Nor I, I imagine most normal people would have your kind of reaction. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. Mm, appropriate. But I'm going to strive to understand. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. We've already had that happen one time. We don't want it to happen again. <laughs> so, you already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Okay. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. Okay. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. Are you serious? That's my vow. Hmm. If you screw us on this... Get, <laughs> I know I need to say it's a deal, but get along with the talking cat. Oh, man. So he's really real, huh? Yep. In that case, I'm going to cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. Okay, then. I am glad to see that you've managed to compose yourself. 
Pubsec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. Sapporo? I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Sapporo Central City, August 8th. Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. Ah, okay. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. Okay. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. Potentially. That could be. If so, then I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? This will be quite the little trip for us. Hmm. A uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. Why is that? You're going to want to either drive or hoof it. Why is that? Does the change of heart incidents involve public transportation? You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. Ah, I see what he means. I see. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? Oh, I see what you mean. That actually makes a lot of sense. But if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? Can we get there through the metaverse? Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. The only person that probably is legal to drive would either be Haru or Makoto. You're not gonna set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Yeah. He's probably going well without or er, er, well out of his jurisdiction to kind of prove our innocence in this sort of thing. Oh, and one more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Hmm. Well, Here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. Ah, uh, right. Sorry, I called you a monster cat, kitty. His name is Morgana. Oh, you'll be sorry. <laughs> okay. You didn't go crazy. This is real, Zenkichi. He's still trying his best to. Get, he's still trying his best to get to, to realize it's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, uh, there is some- His fucking VA is killing me. It is so good. Talk about an effing buzzkill. I mean, Hokkaido? Really? Uh, there goes our vacation down the drain. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Ah! Find that silver lining, Inari. <laughs> this trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Eh... Yeah, the 8th is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. True. Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. Yeah, yeah. Sushi for me. Of course you're going for the sushi. I want to be a responsible leader. Phantom Road Trip time! No. We gotta focus on the case. Hearing that from you is a real relief. Yeah, I know, Makoto. I know. That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trip. Yeah. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first, but now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. Yep. It's like the meta nav. Yeah, totally the same thing. To think something like that is being used nationwide, it sends a chill down my spine. Seriously. I mean, with the meta nav, it was only selected with uh, specific people, aka us. But now, imagine how many of the wrong people getting a hold of a meta nav. The app itself.
itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? Okay, never mind, fair enough. We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Very true. Where did this app come from, anyway? I don't know. Where'd the Meta app come from? It's run by a Japanese company called Medis. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. So this IT company somehow made an app that for specific individuals can access the metaverse. That's quite the large-scale operation. <clears throat> With those numbers, they have to be a top-tier international enterprise. I wonder... Would they potentially have access to Wakaba Ishiki's research papers? Because we know that Wakaba Ishiki did fo woke up, sorry, did focus on cognitive research. If that research got into the wrong hands, there could be out people out there that technically could have developed a semi-functional app that can access the metaverse. So is this some evil mega corporation making jails or something? But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts or something. Ryuji. <sighs> Moron. <laughs> there's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. Oh, there's also that. What makes you say that? Uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. Honestly, we just don't have enough information to work on. But it is a possibility. Yep. If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. I doubt we'd be able to get access to that because it'd probably be confiscated. Really? I should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. Ah, that's right. We could always ask for Zinkiji's help in this. He is saying he wants to help us, so... I'll reach out to him later over it. Next topic, the jail. Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen. But the jail is still in Shibuya. Yep. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their rulers' cognitions. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. Mm-hmm. Put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? It does sound a little bit, it does sound worse than palaces. This sounds even more chaotic than a freaking palace. If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. Oh, no doubt, no fucking doubt. There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. <laughs> so. We're working with the police to try and clear our names, but is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone? We have to find some way to break the jails down, maybe. If stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over, aren't we the only ones who can stop it? Yeah, we are. That's right. You're absolutely right. I'm not seeing any other group of misfits suddenly tearing off their masks and summoning personas and helping out. Yes, it's our job to save people suffering helplessly. And give people courage. Damn right. <laughs> There's my phantom thieves. It's what we, it's what only we can do. Was that how it worked? There's my phantom thieves. Yeah, you said it. Great speech, Lady On. You've got us all fired up. That's the plan. Maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Mm-hmm. Right. We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. That works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. Hell yeah! But how do we actually find the other jails? Maybe that's what Zinkichi's for. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, yes? Uh... It'll only take us about a million years. <sighs> Fair enough. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Have you got an idea, Sophia? Ooh, 
check the super AI. Hell yeah. And it's AI. I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. Huh? For real? For real? By scent? What the fuck does a jail smell like? I imagine it probably smells like old iron and piss. A jail emits a distinct signature. Really? When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Oh, cool. Sophia, that is nuts. No, I assure you, it is not nuts. Praise accepted. <laughs> there is still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is gonna be... A trip to reform all of society. A job for the Phantom Thieves. A great time with you guys. A job for the Phantom Thieves! Hell yeah! <laughs> I am psyched! All that's left is to secure our transportation. Makoto! If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? What happened to that vehicle that we drove off with at the end of the first game? Or Persona 5? We'll just have to rent something. Oh, who knows what it'll cost us. I have saved up 30,000 yen. Surely we can afford it. Money is no object to us. The prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Wait, really? How much did you get? Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. Well, we cut a deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. <sighs> nah, no way. Uh... Some pretty big transportation. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Oh? Let's go ask him. Okay. Hmm. A ride that could fit all of you. Yeah, Coffee Dad, do you know any good vehicles? Weren't you talking to someone about big transportation or something the other day? Oh, you mean the guy I know with the camper. A camper? Uh, yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it. Now it's just collecting dust. How convenient! Sojiro, that's it! Please go borrow that camper for us, please! Well, what? Yeah, please. Also, can we please just take... Let me take Sojiro to the metaverse, goddammit! Mm. He needs to be able to understand the cat! Does this have anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Mm. Uh, no. Yes. Yes? Y yeah. Then I guess I don't have a choice. I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. I love him! I love you, Coffee Dad! Yeah, now there's our chief. So considerate. You know I can't understand a word you're saying, right? But listen up. No getting too wild out there, all right? And are you all set with travel funds and whatnot? Yes, we've all been saving up for summer vacation. <laughs> Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. I am full of commissions. Yeah, we gotcha. Can I have a moment to save, please? A camper? Ta-da! This is turning into some kind of coming-of-age flick. I know, right? Wait, are you guys and girls actually going to sleep in that thing together? Oh, God, I didn't even think about that. No worries. The boys are all sleeping on the roof. Wait, we're sleeping on the roof? And we've got Makoto and her fist of justice with us if someone tries anything funny. She is trained in Aikido. Oh, and I'm very handy with an axe. <laughs> I'm going to back away. I'm going to back away slowly. <laughs> uh, yeah. The way she said that with that goddamn smile on her face. Please go easy on us, ladies. See? Oh, we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're fine. <laughs> sisters are really doing it for themselves. 
Fine. Whatever you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> so about what I asked for. Ah, right. Alice's phone. Here you go. Wait, you actually got it? My scores, Ankichi. Hey, that's important evidence. No breaking it. Got that? Okay. So how was Alice anyway? Oh yeah, how was she? She was pretty upfront about the whole heart-changing situation. Oh. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. Hmm. It began with the friend registration. Hmm? Interesting. Was there anything else? The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. Hmm. She really wasn't aware of her shadow, which does make sense. Okay. Hmm. So that's how it was. Anytime she'd make a friend, they'd just start doing her bidding. Huh. If that's the case, if you think about it, hmm. She could be a victim in the sense that she was tempted by the power, but she still became the perpetrator, but just saying, if she hadn't gotten that, there is the potential that she would not have turned out the way that she did. So she didn't actually know anything about the jails or desires. Looks like it. Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. Hmm? What in the hell? What? What'd you find? What is it? Did you find something? I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. But nope. Nothing? This is just the standard commercial version. It hasn't even been tampered with. Huh. So we got nothing out of this? I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. Oh? What you What do you mean? Someone was monitoring Alice's activity, either her smartphone usage in general or her Emma usage specifically. Oh. It would have to be somebody within that company potentially. So If that's the case, there's probably somebody up on the higher-ups who helped design Emma, and they can pick specific people to basically fuck with their Emma to where it would affect the cognitive world. So, like... Someone's keeping tabs on her. That would mean there is still someone out there involved with this incident. Yeah. Do you see anything revealing the Monitor's origins? Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Yeah, they're probably, they probably have some sort of way to where they can prevent their IP from being traced and stuff like that. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. <laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. Hell yeah! So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Potentially the actual perpetrator. Uh, one thing at a time. This isn't our only case to work. I'm sure we'll find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Right. That's something I can well, agree we'll with Zenkichi on. We'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll reach out to you that day with the meetup location. Got it. Time to return this phone to its rightful owner. Okay. Later, Zenkichi. Hmm. So Alice could put people in her jail because she was a monarch. Is that about right? Right. And somebody was monitoring her Emma usage. Since it didn't seem to be her version of Emma's doing, that seems correct. I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkyuji said, there's still plenty to look into. <sighs> true, true. That's true. If we don't know enough about what's happening, we should gather more intel. Yeah. Hmm? Hey, you guys still together? Oh, hey, Coffee Dad, what's up? Then come on outside. Check out your wheels. Oh, you got us the camper? Hell 
yeah. Yo. Well, here's your wheels. What? Th this is the camper? Whoa. Whoa. It's like three times more badass than I expected. It's actually a pretty decent size, actually. Beautiful. This retro design, so simple yet so elegant. Thanks. Thanks, Sajirel. It's awesome. It looks old. We'll do our best not to crash it. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure you don't wreck it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I found the make and model online. This is a Vulcan Retro Life. It has four beds and a rooftop tent. There are enough power outlets for everyone, as well as cooking appliances for any culinary needs. Oh. <laughs> we couldn't have asked for anything better. That's our chief for you. Nice. Wow. Wow. I love the interior, too. Yes, it reminds me of American diners in the 1950s. Hmm. Accurate, actually. I hope I can tr actually drive something this big. It's got its little quirks, but I'm sure you'll get used to them quick enough. Until then, though, make sure you drive carefully, okay? Uh, well, I guess I can't really park this here, can I? I'll go move this to the nearest lot. You go finish your packing. Sure thing, Dad. Alright, let's disband for now and regroup once we're ready to roll out. Well, good job getting packed up for the trip. Anything else you think we need? So we better go buy it now. Once we're all set, we should go say our goodbyes to the chief before heading out. Oh my god, give me a minute. Yo, dude! There's somewhere I want to go before we head out. Check it out, too. I'll wait for you outside, so just let me know when you're ready. Hmm. How about this? I should write something. I stop. I've been going at it for quite some time. I think I've literally have enough for two episodes at this point. So that's it. That's that's all I'm going to do. Thank you all very much for watching. I need to go to bed. I'm... Oh my god. I am still lightheaded from just laughing at Zenkiji's reaction to the metaverse. I know I'm still focusing on that, but that was gold. Oh my god, that was so good. But it does look like we finally got Zenkiji on the up and up somewhat. So it does seem like he's going to actively be a, a good help now. <sighs> Looks like we're relatively moving along fast, though. Interesting. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. I am tired! At the time I'm recording, it's almost 10 p.m. I'm going to bed. <laughs>